Hi everybody, welcome to Project B5, episode three. Uh, we're back at Monorail Euromotive. We're gonna do a couple more tweaks to the car. We have a subframe issue to address. We're also gonna be putting on some body panels and seeing what else this thing cooks up because it's got all kinds of issues. So it appears what we have here is the remains of an AWE drivetrain stabilizer bar for the B5 platform. The subframe bolt going through the stabilizer bar completely sheared off on the passenger side, so we realize we're going to have to drop the damn subframe. Since we're dropping the subframe, we figured why not just replace the motor mounts. As seen in previous episodes, this vehicle had a few body panels we plan on replacing. Basically, what we ended up doing was sourcing some fenders and a door from a black post-facelift A4. What are you doing, Gabe? I didn't realize how... I'm filming you doing this. No, let me find <clears throat> out what's in there first. There's something in there. Well, it's, it could be a rat's nest. I want to capture that on film. There's no rat's nest in there, dude. It's about that big. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm rolling. That needs to be fucking replaced. Or I'm gonna be inhaling Great. all, all kinds of shit. Cancer. I'll be inhaling all that vape. Yeah, this smells like vape. Fuck. It's probably Carson. After seeing the amount of stuff inside that cabin filter, we realized something. That's gotta go. Lucky for us, Al had one laying around. Now I can breathe. If I ever learn how to drive a stick. Okay. So the cat's out the bag. I can't drive stick. I know how. I've just never owned a manual before. I never realized how many bolts are holding up that damn fender. Our car is currently sporting a set of B7A4S line wheels until we figure out what direction we want to take with its shoes. So I've been contemplating flaring this vehicle. That way we can put a pretty large tire under those arches. Al's been a pretty good sport so far, especially filming something so tedious like putting on body panels because lord knows how difficult this is after seeing how many screws Audi put in that damn fender. Okay, you can stop the filming now. Oh bro, it's such good beer all though. I got like your corner right here. Before Al put on the other fender, I decided to take a closer look and see exactly what was going on inside that fender well. As it turns out, I don't know a damn thing about these coilovers. I don't know anything about these coilovers. FKG36s. I googled and I couldn't find shit. I even looked at the manufacturer's German website. I'm gonna translate it or something. So today we've learned the following. Don't drive your car too low if you have a drivetrain stabilizer bar. Make sure to replace your motor mounts if you're going to drop your subframe. Make sure somebody knows how to line up body panels because it looks damn difficult. Lining these panels up is definitely a pain in the ass. So that pretty much does it for episode 3. So stay tuned for more while we take this vehicle to get inspected and also get some custom work done by our good friend Josh McGuire of Sparky Speed Shop. Be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel.